So today I want to share with you a really cool application I came across a few weeks back and I've been meaning to share it with you guys on camera. Most of you guys are probably familiar with a Linux app called Kava, C-A-V-A, -A, which is a terminal based application that is an audio visualizer. And if you're familiar with that, today I want to share with you this application called Cavalier. And what this is, it's basically Kava in GUI form, right? It's a GTK application that is an audio visualizer. So if you're playing music or if I'm speaking on my microphone or whatever it is that's generating sound, you're gaming and you want a little visualizer, you know, going on while that sound is going on, you can get that with this Cavalier application. Now Cavalier is licensed under the MIT license, so it's free and open source software. And if it's not in your Linux distributions repositories, which it might not be because it's a rather new program. You can find it on both Flathub and on Snapcraft. So you can get it as either a flat pack or a snap. I actually installed the flat pack. I didn't try out the snap. It's also packaged in the Arch user repository, the AUR. I didn't install it from the AUR either. The only one I've tried is the flat pack and it's worked well for me. So let me show you Cavalier in action. So let me go ahead and launch Cavalier. Now, when you launch it, you're going to get a window and it's going to say, let's dance. Cavalier listens to your system sounds. Right now, I'm not putting sound through an input device that uh, it's listening for. I do have a audio player open on another screen. I have dead beef audio. Now, I'm going to play a particular audio file. You guys won't hear it because I don't want any uh, issues with YouTube and me playing music. But I'm going to go ahead and start my dead beef audio player. And when I do, we get a visualizer. This is what it's set to right now. Now I could go change this if I wanted. Let me go ahead and pause the uh, music there and then go into preferences. And from here, you can change the drawing mode. Right now it's set to levels. If I want to, I can set it to wave and let me restart the music. And this is the wave visualizer. If I wanted to, I could set it to particles or to bars or to spine or to splitter. And you have many other settings you can do. You have the mirror effect. We can actually do this. Let's do a full mirror and let me go back and start the audio. And that was on splitter. We do the bars. You can see we get the mirrored bars now. A really neat little effect. I might keep that one on for now. You've got a lot of settings though. You can go in here and you can play with the colors. For me, I just chose blue. I've stuck with it. If you wanted something different, you certainly could. Under the Kava settings, you can adjust things like the frame rates, the number of bars, the sensitivity, yada, yada, yada. You do have an images section where I guess you could add a background or a foreground image as well as setting alpha as well on that. So a cool little program, right? So let me go ahead and get rid of the preferences. And, you know, what would you use something like this for? Well, I think a lot of people would just find it as some interesting eye candy to have on the screen while they're listening to their audio player. Maybe your audio player doesn't have a built-in visualizer. Many do, but maybe yours doesn't. Uh, one interesting thing you could do, and this is just me, but as a content creator, sometimes I want interesting things happening on the screen. You want some kind of visualization while I'm speaking. For example, I could go, I'm recording in OBS right now, and I could add a source for the Cavalier window. Let me go ahead and add that. I'm going to put a Cavalier window in the lower third here and let me restart the song that was playing and there you go so that's the cavalier window i shrunk it down to where it's really small so it fits in the lower third but you know i could do something like that and then for the audio input right now it's you know listening to the audio player but i could set it to listening for my mic right and then every time i speak cavalier could yeah <laughs> i would get the visualizations you know that's a, a little bit too cheesy and over the top for me, but for some people, you know, depending on the kind of content you're doing, that could be a really useful tool. So that is Cavalier. Uh, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I want to thank the producers of this episode. Matt, Steve, 40 millimeter, Cap Caveman, Darloff, Lee, Jersey Killer, Mark, Methos, Arian, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Morgento, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at Cavalier would not have been possible. Possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, 
These are my supporters over on Patreon. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software like Cavalier, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.